and it's done by Hey, 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 there we go, fireworks. Put this thing right here. Hey, 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 what up guys? How are you? Wow. Whoa, this thing looks crazy in person, but something crazier happened today. I finally got news to something that I've been waiting for for over a year. Let's unpack it and talk about it. Ooh. We now know the date, the MGM and Cosmopolitan full integration date. It's February 1st, 2024. On that date, Cosmopolitan's Identity Rewards program will fully merge into MGM Rewards. Depending on your take on this merge, some of you will think this is an end date, some of you will think this is a beginning date. But uh, many of us, for example for me, this will be a combination of both. As for me, I dance both with MGM Resorts and Cosmopolitan, but uh, I prefer to keep them separated because there's some stuff Cosmo offers that MGM doesn't and vice versa. But there are Cosmopolitan loyalists out there and they're the ones who will be disappointed in this merge. To all the Cosmopolitan loyalists watching this, first of all, stay strong, okay? <laughs> Second of all, for you and all the other viewers, Hopefully this video provides information that will aim to provide a more smoother and more advantageous transition into this merge. By the way, Cosmo 101, this room is a must try. All right, the wraparound. I have plenty of space here, guys. It's just me drinking and uh, Vegas happening. And look at this beautiful couple right here. They're photobombing me. They photobombed me while I was walking across the street. And I was like, yo, if you want to be in the video, I want to put you in the video. There you go. <laughs> all right, all right, let's stop messing around. So today, I got this email. Let's unpack this email and all its information, details, procedures, and dates attached to this email. And later on, I'll share with you how I've been situating and preparing myself for this merge. Now that I have conclusive dates and information, I will share with you what my preparatory moves will be from here on out till February 1st, 2024 that'll best set me up for my situation. Legal disclosure. Anything I say in here is not legal advice. It's not any advice. I'm just sharing you my narrative for my situation that may or may not benefit you. Matter of fact, it may or may not even benefit me. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> All right, don't leave, hang in there. Let's get this thing started. What is MGM Rewards? All right, we know this one. How many MGM Rewards destinations are there? There are many. What identity membership, we could skip this. When will identity transition to MGM Rewards at the Cosmopolitan? The official full integration date will be February 1st, 2024. Until then, identity and MGM Rewards programs will remain separate for the most part. As an Identity Rewards member with Cosmopolitan, what happens to my Identity Tier status upon transition to MGM Rewards? Members can confidently continue to play and earn with Identity and know their earnings will be recognized when determining their new MGM Rewards Tier status. Identity Tier Points and MGM Rewards Tier Credits earned from January 1st, 23 to December 31st, 23 will be added 1 to 1 ratio to determine your 2024 tier status. 2024 MGM Rewards tier status will be determined by adding your identity tier points plus MGM Rewards tier credits from 2023. Uh-oh, I see a potential big red flag for those who will focus on the cosmopolitan side in 2023. All right, let's break this down. MGM Rewards tier statuses are as follows. Sapphire, this is an intro one. Pearl, 20,000 tier credits. Gold, 75,000 tier credits. And by the way, this is the sweet spot, guys. Free resort fees automatically. Platinum, 200,000 tier credits. And Noir, invitation only. Eh, let's just ignore Noir for now. Now, let's bring up the Cosmopolitan identity tier statuses and align it in relative to its comps on the MGM side. 
for my experience from MGM and Identity programs, these two line up. Sapphire equals Velvet, Pearl equals Sterling, Gold equals Cosmo Gold, Platinum equals Cosmo Platinum. The issue is they have different point systems. So there will be an imbalance when they do the final merge calculations as one to one ratio. So in effectiveness, it'll essentially be one third to one ratio disadvantage identity rewards. Okay, let's come back to this later when I share with you what I've been doing and what I plan to do until the full integration. As an Identity Rewards member, what happens to my Identity Points upon transition to MGM Rewards? To keep it simple, the dollar amount attached to these will not be lost. It will be migrated into respective MGM Rewards categories. As an Identity Rewards member, what happens to my Identity Benefits upon transition to MGM Rewards? This says maximize your earnings and redeem your Identity Benefits now through January 31st, 2024. As of February 1st, 2024, your new MGM Rewards tier status will unlock new benefits such as waived resort fees, dining credit, and air travel credit. I don't plan to maximize my earnings with Cosmopolitan. My focus will be with MGM Rewards because of the effective ratio tier credit merge calculations. As an Identity Rewards member, what will happen to Identity offers that I received based on my casino play? Identity offers booked prior to February 1st, 2024 will be honored and members will continue to see offers reflective of their play through MGM Rewards in 2024. You know what this means. I plan to use all my Cosmo offers and book all my Cosmo room offers prior to February 1st, 2024. Why should I keep staying and playing at Cosmopolitan if Identity is ending? Again, for me, I plan to use up all my Cosmopolitan room offers. However, my play and gaming will be focused with MGM Resorts. As an Identity slash MGM Rewards member, can I get access now to entertainment tickets, tournaments, etc. at MGM Resorts properties slash the Cosmopolitan? Yes, you can. Here's an example. Old Dominion. I've never heard of them. Have you? Oh boy. <laughs> Is the Cosmopolitan still part of the Marriott Autograph Collection? Yes, sir. And on top of that, in October 2023, MGM will end their long relationship with Hyatt and start a new one with Marriott Bonvoy. So, unfortunately, for all you MGM Rewards Gold Tier members who achieved it through the annual Tier Match hack with Hyatt, you've got to find another way. Womp, womp, womp. Am I currently able to sign charges at MGM Resorts Properties back to my room at the Cosmopolitan? Yes, you can initiate to and from any of the Las Vegas MGM Resorts Properties to the Cosmopolitan that are room charge enabled. I did it the other day. I had dinner at Lemongrass at Aria. And by the way, the dinner was delicious. I had one of my favorite dishes, the abalone. I ate it there and I charged it to my room at Cosmopolitan. All right, well, here's the parking situation. The parking situation looks like it'll still be separated until February. And no, well, at least not now. My Vegas rewards will not work at the Cosmopolitan. Insurance? Oh, sorry, Blackjack. Come back soon. I've been toying around with my Vegas rewards just to see what's up with it. Perhaps a video on this coming up sometime in the future. So stay tuned, please. Let's find out how legit this is. All right, last question. Do you charge a resort fee? But of course, resort fee paid for pool access, fitness center access, 
even tennis court access. And guess what? At Cosmopolitan, it paid for guest parking as well. Included guest parking was a nice gesture by the Cosmopolitan. But guess what? Come September 20th, MGM Energy will kick in and put an end to it. All right, guys. So the question here is, what have I been doing and what will I continue to do to best position myself for when this final merge happens in February? First, now that the Cosmopolitan is room charge linked to all the other MGM properties in Vegas, I initiate a room charge whenever possible. And here's why. One, I may have some food and beverage credits I have to use, whether it was provided from casino marketing or from hotel accommodations. Two, I may potentially receive a back-end food and beverage comp at the end of my stay. Three, potentially earn loyalty credits for the rewards program. Four, it simplifies and streamlines my expense ledger for the trip. Five, sometimes the hotel will offer you food and beverage compensation during your stay because they cause some sort of an inconvenience. General guideline. I don't play in game to chase casino offers or certain rewards tier statuses. <laughs> at least 98% of the time. All right, all right, all right. Sometimes I do when I feel like I'm right at the cusp. However, I am mindful of tier credit accumulation strategies that best suits me for my predetermined casino action thresholds. For the past year and a half, I've slowed down my dance with both Cosmopolitan and MGM while they work out their integration process. About a week before its official information release, on August 1st, I got the inside scoop on it. I happen to be in Vegas, I happen to have a casino budget, so armed with this information, and because of this, MGM rarely does this. I made a tactical decision and provided casino gambling with MGM Rewards instead of Cosmopolitan, in spite, at the time, I was booked on their Cosmopolitan room offer. One thing led to another, boom, 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 and this is where my session ended. And yes, the accelerator promo came in clutch. All right, so for me, until the full integration happens in February, I plan to use up all my Cosmopolitan offers, but my casino action will be with MGM Rewards. My rolling Cosmo offers might take a hit until the full integration, but once that happens, MGM Rewards will survey my casino profile and even out my offers to all its properties, including the Cosmopolitan. Who knows, things could change and get updated, but in its current formula, it would require about eight times more effort for me to earn MGM Rewards Platinum status. Everyone's situation is different. This is just my take on my situation. I look forward to the many upcoming changes as MGM finalizes this integration process. But please, MGM, please do not take away the fresh coconut water. I need this because last night, oh boy, last night was a, oh. Well, all right, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully you found something useful. And if you did, push that like button. Comment below, share us your take on all this. And uh, please subscribe. I am trying to get to that 1000 mark. Thank you for watching and please come again. Bye bye.